Science Alley Company. Good morning, First Sergeant. The information on the chalkboard, write them in the order that you see them. Write quickly. I will talk. You will, you will listen. You will respond. You will interject. <coughs> First of all, today we'll talk to them about, yes, sir. Yes, sir, you may. Yes, sir, you may. Today we're talking about personal finance. But I have a crazy question to ask all of you. Is there a significant difference between personal finance and money management? Is there a difference between personal finance and money management? Talk to me, somebody. Yes. Who says yes? Raise your hand. What's the difference, ma'am? The difference between personal finance and money management is like personal finance is what you have. And like money management is how you manage the money that you do have. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Speak a little bit loud so I can hear. I'm kind of blind in one eye. Personal finance is everything that you have. It's it's all of your money, all of your commodities, everything that belongs to you. Whereas money management is how you take care of it. Money management is how you take care of it. Okay. Assistant? Personal finance is your finances, your economic stuff. It can be not just your money, but your house, your car, the debts you owe. And money management is managing money that could be you managing the money for a company that could be you managing money for your own business. That's not necessarily just your personal finances. Okay. All right. Pretty good analogy, young people. Well, we're going to talk about something real fast and come to personal finance. And it's called PYF. What does the acronym PYF stands for? Hey. All right. Let's, uh, let's try someone new to the system. Ma'am, PYF. I got a prize for you. Tell me what PYF is. Come here quickly, ma'am. Let's speak PYF. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> come on. I'm kind of blind in one eye. I can't hear you. Speak louder. Yes, ma'am. Pay, pay yourself first. Catch, ma'am. Catch. Pay yourself first. What does pay yourself first mean? Yes, ma'am. Is it paying yourself, like, when you get, whatever money you get, you get 10%. Wasn't it 10%? And You're asking questions. I need you to talk to me. Okay. The, whatever money you get, take 10% of that money and put it in your bank. That's paying yourself first. So it adds up very quickly. All right. Where does this 10% come, up, come from? Yes, sir. Your paycheck or anything like you're making money off of. Well, why can't it be... 1%. Where does this concept of 10% comes from? Yes, sir. 10% comes from having, you always making sure you get a consistent amount and making sure that it always adds up. And it can come from any type of money that you get. So okay. And the dollar keeps 10 Very good analogy here. According to financiers, money managers, money experts, business entrepreneurs, and people that are professional with handling money, marketing strategists, they say you should take approximately 4 to 10% of every dollar you make and save and invest it. Huh? Huh. Uh, and that should go into an application of PYF, pay yourself first. Now, if you pay yourself first, does that mean you don't pay your debts? No. no. What does it mean? You pay yourself first. That means you have to strategize. You have to use a, a, a strategy of how to handle your money to, appropriately. You have to take care of handling your business. Huh? Huh. Uh, all right, let's move on. One of the first points we have up here is called the what? What's number one? Piggy bank. What's a piggy bank? Does it have to be a P? No. Oh, ain't going. Does it have to be a P? Does it? No. What can it be? Anything. Like what? Give me some examples. How many? A bottle. A bottle. A bottle. A bottle. How many of you have a piggy bank? All right, loud and clear. Tell me what. Tell me what your piggy bank is. Quickly. A monster can. A monster can. Piggy. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Box. A box. A box. Box. Jaw. Money machine. Coca-Cola can. Coca oh, that's it. How about it's a can? old one. All right. I'm with you. Go ahead. <laughs> Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Piggy bank. Glass cup. Glass cup. What's yours, sir? A clock. A clock. <laughs> that is good. I remember that. He's got a clock. Now, sometimes we are not supposed to give you our personal points on things or not, not go beyond to give professional perspective on things. But in here... I do it differently. Huh? Huh? Now, you've been told by December 19th, everyone in this class must have what? Oh, so Where? 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 What kind of union? Credit union. union. <laughs> now, which of these two entities gives the best rate? Credit union. Why? Why does the credit union get better interest? Doesn't it still be worth more with you? Because 
who are a part of the stockholders in the credit union? Well, you, the people. You are. Okay? So a credit union primarily give a better interest rate. But be informed during the inflation and recession and depression, you know, it all goes down very low. Huh? Huh. But be mindful of that. Now, young people, stay with me here. We're not going to go back, but we're going to talk a little bit about the piggy bank. Everyone should have a piggy bank. And there's a rule of thumb. Put it on the top of your page, the acronym DTA, DTA. DTA backslash DTA. That acronym stands for something. Someone please tell me by the display of elevated and extended out, what does DTA stand for? What does it stand for, sir? Don't tell anybody. Don't, don't tell, hold on. Don't tell anybody. Very, very good, sir. Don't eat it until everybody gets one, okay? <laughs> Go ahead, ma'am. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Hello, people have afflictions and addictions. And the more that folks know you have a lot of money, what are they going to do? Ask, ask you for it. Like family. Say it again. Like family. <laughs> ask you for it. Ask life. you for it. And if they don't ask you for it, what are they going to do with it? Take, Take it. it. Take it. Now, do you like anyone taking your money? No. no. Everyone is honest until they have an opportunity to be dishonest. Hello. Hello. Can I get an amen? amen? Amen. That's just the way life is. Okay? Politicians are perfect examples. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> honest until opportunity come to be dishonest. Now, we're not putting anyone down. We're just telling it like it is. Okay? Good? Good. All right. Yes, sir. Don't throw away. Don't throw away anything. Don't throw away anything. Money. Okay. We're coming to that. I'm glad you mentioned that point. Thank you. Now, on your piggy bank, you put it in a secure area. That's number one. Number two, you don't advertise you have a piggy bank, even among your friends. Number three, I want everyone to stand up here and come up here very quickly. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Move. 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 Before you, you, you find three piggy banks, one is a what? Bleach bottle. bottle. Pick it up. Pick it up. Quickly, pick it up. Look on the inside. Move quickly. Move quickly. Here is a glass container. Pick it up. Pass it around. Don't drop it because you'll, you'll crack it. Hurry it up. Is it heavy? Is it heavy? Here's another one. Look on the inside. Pick it up. Now, young people. Piggy banks are not just for kids. If you look across America, you find many, many, many elderly people having piggy banks to save money. It's a strategy to help you to start pocketing money, a uh, question, putting money into a situation for midterm, question, short term, midterm, and long term savings. Who? Uh. Now, I'm going to show you one example of a piggy bank. Here, ma'am, take this quarter and put it inside. See what happens. Look at the window, everybody. Now, look at these these piggy banks. How much money do you think is in this piggy bank? Twice. Twice as much. Three, four times more. Two hundred and forty-seven dollars in coins. But what is the policy I gave to you about your piggy bank? What else? How much do you have in it for you to deposit into a financial institution? Why is it my deposit? Because you're first underground. That's one. <laughs> and the other reason is for teaching point for you today. Huh? Uh. All right, go back to your seat quickly. <laughs> okay. Number two, savings count at a reputable and financial institution. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. Put your eyes on my deep brown eyes and listen. Here's what happens. There are so many financial institutions right now that is paying you to open up a savings account with them. How many of you are aware of that? U.S. Bank, for example. You go there now with two forms of identification. They will open up a savings account for you and put in $100. Is that a give me? Yes. How many people you know have done that? How many people outside of you and your family that have done that? It's a smart move. Bank of the West has the same thing. Community of America has the same program. Young adults, encourage your people to get out and open up a savings account. Who? Huh? Huh? It's money-making mechanism for you. Number three, ladies and gentlemen, what's number three on the chalkboard? Collectibles. What's number three? Collectibles. What are collectibles, somebody? Talk to me. Talk to me. What is collectibles? Yes, ma'am. Antique little uh, uh, collectibles like. Um, baseball cards. Baseball cards? Like Michael Jordan shoes if you have autographs, any sports. 
famous people. Coins. Coins, coins too. Like, little toys. <laughs> Look at you all, like a bunch of little chickens. Little <laughs> coins, too. <laughs> Catch, ma'am. Very, very good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, how many of you have your parents, your grandparents, your aunties, uncles, that are collecting various things that have values? It's a smart thing to do, okay? And one of the things you don't discard is anything as unworthy. One man's trash is another man's treasure. treasure. You've got to remember that. Take it all the way to the bank. bank. You've got to remember that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have one to ten up here that has all the coins that are very similar. What is this coin that's in here? Half, Half dollars. Half dollars. Is this, is this a collectible item? Yes. yes. Why? What makes a collectible item? Yes, ma'am. In the future, it could be worth a whole lot of money. Yes, sir. You don't see it very often. Yes, ma'am. I was going to say they're rare. They're rare, but they still make them. But you still have to keep on. You don't see them very often. Now, with collectibles, it's not just collect an item for its value in the future, it's also keeping emergency money on hand. Hello? Emergency money on hand. All those nickels, dimes, and quarters, and pennies that your grandparents, and your parents, and your aunties, and uncles are saving, that's an emergency stash of cash. For the most part, what criminals gonna walk into your house saying, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal this and run. It's too much weight to carry out, huh? huh. So the mindset is, wow. I'm having a mercy fund in my house that's hard to steal. <laughs> huh. Huh. All right, let's move on. Yes, sir? Well, in the case of coins, a lot of times if you're collecting coins and there's some that are, were made specifically in certain time periods and those coins are still, like at home I've got, in my coin collection, I've got a silver dollar that is from 1922 and it's one ounce of silver and it's worth a lot more than a dollar now. For, Different reasons. Steel pennies, I have, and one of the things I will always tell you is don't take collectibles for granted because there are so many things you, you can make uh, money off of and save for its value as collectibles. At this time, you're going to write in the margin. Each of you will give me a response of a collectible either your family is keeping, retaining, or one that you know of that we can keep. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's start off with Mr. Holland. One thing we can collect. Stamps. Excellent. Give me another. Coins. Coins. Give me another. Jewelry. Oh, yes. Jewelry. Yes, ma'am. Give me another. Uh, Don't say a reefer either. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Give me one. Come back to you. Yes, ma'am. Baseball cards. Baseball cards. Give me another. Dolls. Dolls. Yes. yes. Do men collect dolls? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. They call them yes, action figures. Yes, sir. They call them yes, action figures. Yes, they call them yes, action figures. They're dolls. I don't. They're, they're still dolls. They're dolls. They're dolls. They're dolls. They're dolls. All right. Okay. All right. Good job. All right. Give me another. Comic books. Comic books. Give me another. Liquor. Liquor. Like old oh, liquors. Yeah, wine. like wine. Yeah, that one. Liquor. Uh, liquor. We have to have one of those in here, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good point, okay? You're not going to drink it. You're going to collect it, and when you find the time appropriate, you will give it to me. All right? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Coins, like sports memorabilia. Sports memorabilia. Very good. Ma'am? Oh, uh, those little tra train trains? Trains. Very good. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, stuffed bears. Stuffed bears. Absolutely. You have one, Mr. Wayne? Yes, sir. <laughs> what? Bobbleheads. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, you have adults. Well, yes, sir. Pez. Yeah. 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 those. My aunt does that. I feel like I'm at a crack family where you're getting a Okay. Stuffed bears. Now, I have a dumb question for you all. You're walking, to the doo, you see a dime, what do you do? Pick it up. You see a nickel, what do you do? Pick it up. You see a penny, what do you do? Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh yeah, first you see the heads up, and then you take it. Okay. <laughs> now you said earlier, one man's trash is a man's trash. Do penny yeah. Yeah. add up? Yeah. 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 Okay. It depends on it. Alright? You see them all. Remember that. Wow. Now, yeah, next thing we're going to talk about, young adults, we're talking about Piggy bank, savings account, collectibles, let's go to commodities. Who knows what commodities are? Talk to me. Oh, look at all my brilliant young people. All right, we're going to start with you, Mr. Taladano. What, what are commodities? Commodities are things that you see every day, like clothes, or electricity, water, things you use every day. Absolutely. Talk to me, sir. Commodities, 
generally are things that like are used every day and they're really valuable even though a lot of people don't use them like a lot. They use their products so like gold, oil, uh, timber, stuff like that. And what's that say about you? Some of your crazy ideas could make you a what? Million. 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 <laughs> and the thing about it, we have to stop thinking in the box. Oh, this is this is so dumb. And when you tell someone who thinks your idea is great, they move with it. That's why one of the biggest uh, controversies was over what? Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. Who really had the idea? The yeah. two twins. You suppress your thoughts or your actions or your initiative, someone else stepped up and do something with it. Remember, one man's trash is another man's, man's trash. Now, how many of you know of someone that have taken a trend, an idea, a form, write these words down, trend, form, fashion, give me some more words, Mr. Jones, trend, form, fashion, ideas, concepts, ideologies, say what? Innovation. Innovation, patterns, patents. Come on, talk to me, people. Copyright. All right. People come up with ideas to make money. You as a teenager have great ideas and you need to stop sitting on it. Huh? Huh? Oh. 